that thing? Our friend did what? 37 and 8? No. Nah. <laughs> what about them swingers? How's Marlene? The kids? Beautiful. Okay. Yeah, I gotta go. Let's chow. Hey, Ray. So, uh, who's the pal? Phil, you remember Nico? He's a good friend of mine. Can we talk? Sure we could talk, as long as we don't talk too much. Interesting times, you know what I mean? Did you hear about our friend, the guy with the thing? Yeah, you mean Harry the... guy with the hat? No, the guy with the, you know, the... but the beep the poop. Yeah, the guy with the... and the... Yeah, that guy. Yeah. I heard. So be cool, Ray. Listen, I need to speak to you alone. Yeah, Phil, see, that's the thing. I kind of know what you're going to ask, and I can't. What do you mean you can't? I can't do it, Phil. I got a lot of interest right now. Business is really taking off, and I don't want any distractions. Well, as you could see, I got my own issues here. Look, Nico is good. He'll do what you need. And you say he's a friend of yours. Sure. Good to meet you. Yeah. Come here. The triads have this big chunk of brown they're desperate to get rid of. Talking about it all over town. Wanting to offload it at any price. They think it's cursed or something. Let's prove it is. Take it from them. It's loaded into a truck going to Franklin Street and West Dyke. Get a hold of it and give me a call. Sure. But Mr. Bell, it's going to cost you. You got it. No problem. Great. Say, nice stereo you got there, Phil. Thanks. Yeah, so, Philly, you ever hear from your ex-wife? What kind of question is that? Just ask it. Get the hell out of here. <laughs> Every time, this motherfucker. Mm. I'll be in touch, Nikki. I'm on the run, I want the run, I want the run, I want the air. I'm well locked to the cars can catch me. I think I can see you, Nico.
Look at that, whatever, Vigo got the burns. about your driving gas hole. <laughs> <laughs> I swear this nigga is too funny. Phil, man, I got that thing you were after. What do you want me to do with you? It's a wedding present from my nephew, Frank. Take it out to the big house over from Beaver Head Avenue. You know the one I need. They'll be waiting here. Frankie, your uncle asked me to give you this wedding present. You're a lucky guy. I don't know about that. I gotta sit on this stuff until Phil gets over his paranoia and we could ship it. Meantime, I gotta pack it into some cars that go faster than this thing. Sounds like a fun honeymoon. Later on. Your nephew's got his wedding present. Nicely done. He's a good kid. He deserves something special. Hopefully he'll look after it. Nico, you looking for more work? I'm always looking to earn a bit of extra cash. Great. I know a guy who needs a man like you. Only operates on an outside line, though. Go to the payphone on the corner of Vitulo and Hardtack. He'll call you. Let's go, baby. It's still here. <laughs> Got work? Yeah, he's got stuff that he's doing. Head over to his house off of Beaverhead and Westside. When I pop up in a while and I don't know, fucking hope and all this shit. You think they never did that shit. Now 
out of the way. Yo, Nicky, what's up, homie? Our boy Stevie hit me up. You want to hook this up with the sweet ride? He don't want you to give it back to him, does he? Shit, no, that's cool. I was just telling him how, you know, you can make things happen. He's going to be in touch with you about some cars he needs found. If you catch my meaning. Sure, I have an ability to find stuff, if the price is right. Give him my number. Fuck, man. You are the boy. I'll call Stevie. You're a man in this yacht for us, Nico. Nibbling out at sea. This is the place. Escorting a Korean contact of mine into the country with a boatload of fake hundred dollar bills. As long as the ones he's paying us with are real, it doesn't matter. I owe you an apology, Nico. I was dosed when you told me you killed Bucky and his boys. Yeah, you were out of here. I haven't felt safe since Aiden O'Malley went inside. Who's Aiden? Me, Bucky, and Aiden, we all cared about the same stuff. We came together for a cause we believed in. At least, I thought I believed in it. I was young. This was a while ago, then. Yeah, so Aiden got caught with something when he was somewhere he wasn't meant to be. Needless to say, he'll be inside for a time. Him and Bucky think I talk. Couldn't see no other way how he got caught. From what I hear, Aiden still rants about me. You Park's boy? Yes, I Kim. You Dedica? Yeah, welcome to America. We're meeting your friends in Bohan. I'll text you the route you gotta take. Best way to avoid checks. We'll cover your rear. Another immigrant, arriving in this city. Trying to make something of himself. Brings a tear to my eye. When this is done, I won't have to leech off my brothers no more. This deal should mean I can take care of myself. Providing it goes to plan. What the fuck is this? Think I gotta go! Use our boat to shield Tim from these fuckers! I don't give a shit if this... I'd rather swim home tonight than come back tomorrow to die for those notes! Or fake. You sound like my mother. You're actually a really nice shot.
we are. Got him here in one piece. That was a deal. Thanks, Nico. Thank you, Miss McGarry. Not such a smooth journey. Yeah, got a bit hairy out there. Good thing you have your sea legs. I hope the rest of your time here is more peaceful. That's all you can hope for in this godforsaken world. See you around, Nico. Don't put all the payoff up your arm, Derek. Only place for it, me boy. Only <laughs> place for it. <laughs> See you soon. to a situation full of optimism, full of naivete. I got burnt. Look at me. Like smack on a fucking spoon. Well... How do you manage? I don't know that I got off so lightly. <sighs> we all got our demons. Aiden O'Malley. What about Aiden O'Malley? <sighs> I heard he's being moved. Maybe this is our time. Put all this crap to bed. Get off the drugs. Live with the memories. Hayden's being moved by Van from the bacon factory. He's been talking shit about me. Back to the Albany State Correctional Facility. Please, Nico, boy. Just this last one. Please. Sure, Derek. You and me. The same. The same. The, the same. We're the same, you and me. Man, it's depressing watching my boy do that. Uh, Derek, a lot like that. Derek, um, he was a. So. Yeah, these Nico, are I hear my brother Derek is asking you to ice his old drinking buddy Aiden O'Malley. Yeah, he has. What's the big deal? O'Malley is in government custody. He's got more police protection than the mayor. I left a truck with a rocket launcher in it for you in an alley off of Applewhite in Alderney City. A truck with a rocket launcher in it? What am I meant to do with him? Who knows? Anyway, the convoy with O'Malley in it has to go through the booth tunnel. You're gonna get there first and block the road with your truck. I'm gonna come in from the rear and block him that way. Pick up the truck and give me a call. Yeah, that boy ain't no man. Oh, not Aiden. Um, ain't no Malley. And uh, Derek McGurry. And um, I think it's one of the other people here, Bucky. But he's like a. They were all a part of. Um, it was it's a it was a real life. Um, Iron was it Ireland. Or, um, yeah. I guess Irish liber Liberation Movement. I can't remember the exact name of it. And um, basically, they were a bunch of rebels that went around, you know, doing terror, you know, doing terrorist shit, blowing up um, buildings and stuff like that to uh, to pretty much get um, Ireland to split from the fucking the Great from Great Britain or something like that. I don't know. I can't remember exactly. You can look it up. But it's just the context behind what my boy um, Derek done went through. Probably blew up some people, killed people. You know what I'm saying? This shit that he he thought he was doing that was right, which was wrong the whole time. It's, oh, it's fucked up though. You know what I'm saying? It's, I think it's showing different ways how people cope with traumatic experiences. And I, and I fuck with that in the guy. It's, it's showing in Patrick. It's showing in Derek. It's showing in Nico, Bernie. It's showing in like this, this is a really good fucking game. You cannot tell me any different. So I would debate this with anybody.
All right, I've got the truck. When we have him blocked in, we take down the escort and make off with the prisoner. Why don't we just kill the fucker there and then? That's probably what Derek would have told you to do in his smacked out state. Problem is, he's the first one they'd talk to if that happened. We gotta make this look like a prison break. Great, they're leaving the old cop shop now. Should be at the booth tunnel soon. Drift these in the truck. Drift these in the truck. I'm in position, Pecky. All right, man, we're coming to you. Take out the escort, but keep Derek's pal alive. What's this jerk think he's doing? Hey, Mitch, can you find out what this guy... I got a bad feeling of it. Defend the prisoner! Defend the prisoner! Attention, Nico. We don't want anyone after us while we're doing what we gotta do. All right, all right. I'll try to lose these fucking cops. The cops will be looking for it. Got some transport. Get in that vehicle, prisoner. We've got rid of the unwanted attention. Now it's time for business. Get us to the cliffs in Leftwood.
The cliffs have left, would then. Is there a boat coming or something? Where am I going? You're going to a faraway place, my friend. Damn right! Somewhere the cops will never find me. Nobody's gonna find you where you're going, friend. Shit! I don't even know who sent you guys. Who do I got to thank for springing me from the joint? We're doing this on behalf of an old acquaintance of yours. I knew I wasn't forgotten about. I knew that no matter how long I rotted in there, people on the outside world still remember me. People remember you, all right. You're at the front of certain people's minds. Well, who is it? Not Julia. She stopped writing and coming on visiting days, but I could tell she was still thinking of me. I knew it. You'll find out who it was when we get there. In the meantime, shut the hell up, buddy. All right, friend. Thank you. This nigga don't even know what's about to happen to him. Hey, this used to fuck me up when I was a kid. This, this, this nigga's happiness and shit like that. Like, it's, it's fucked up. It's fucked up. It's crazy. It's crazy. Oh my god, the trip. Oh my god, you gotta calm down. You stay in Tokyo. Out you come, old boy. The cliffs, the sea air. I really am free. I could cry. You've made me a happy man, boys. Now it's time to tell me who asked you to do this. Derek McCreary. He's my brother. Derek? But he ratted me out. He's the reason I ended up in that place to start with, the spineless. So you thought you'd talk about him? He's my brother, and guys like you are killing him. Nico, get ready, dear old Aiden. Hey, boy. Hey, boy, Packy did the fucking race and just left my ass. Hey, boy, Packy just left my ass out of here. That nigga a hoe. That nigga Aiden body, guy. Aiden is dead. That's the end of a chapter. I can close the book on a whole lot of my past now, Nico. Thanks. Maybe a clean break is in order. A fresh beginning. Good luck to you. Good boy Derek was a snitch. Got a piss. This is it, my compadre. We're here. Nico, it's finally official. Since the moment I met Mallory, I knew that she was the only woman for me. Apart from those other ones you screw, right? No, certainly not. They were just distractions from my one true love. I proposed to Mallory, Nico. She said she would marry me. Now all we need is to find you a wife, and we can all settle down happily ever after. I'm working on it, cousin. There's this girl I like. She's called Kate McCreary. I invite her to the wedding! You don't even know her, Roman, so please, try not to embarrass me. Congratulations on the engagement. Thank you, cousin! Thank you, Bryce Dawkins. I hope the cash for this didn't come out of city funds.
Everybody! Hey, where you going, Matt? Take me to Castle Drive. You got it. Here we are, man. End of the line. Why didn't you tell me Derek was back? What? Why didn't you tell me you was hanging around with my brother? I assumed if you cared, you'd have found out. Well, I have found out. Jesus, you know Derek's not well. No? No. He's sick. He always was. He's always off getting involved in someone else's fight, making a fool of himself, betraying people, going into hiding. He's an idiot and a coward. It's not my business. Whatever he stood for, he betrayed. He only left here in the first place because he was caught stealing from the Mafia. He's a pathetic wretch. Okay, I got it, so... Now, he's gonna ruin my life. If it wasn't bad enough having a bunch of crooks for brothers, now I've got him threatening to talk to a journalist about his family, about me! Well, tell him to be quiet. I am trying to become the commissioner of police. I'd be a laughingstock. A cop with the famous snitching traitor for a brother. Ugh. You know... The crooks I can handle. See, that I can spin. But not this. Not this. Uh, you got the big problem then. Me? Uh -uh. We, my friend. We. You stop it. <coughs> stop? Stop. Kill your brother. He's already dead. Just put him out of his misery. Fuck you. No, fuck you, pal. I'm gonna meet him in the courtyard park off Bismarck and Lancet. Deal with him. Make him a tragedy, not a disaster. Do it, or I will put you away. Oh, don't push me. Going to Bismarck Avenue. Nobody knows this city better than me. Nico, thanks fuck you, Ant. Frankie arranged to meet me at this park on Bismarck. I think he's gonna try to kill me. Cops can kill who they like. Do you know the place? Are you close? Can you get there in time? I think I can make the meeting. You gotta take him out before he makes a move. This is Cain and Abel stuff, I'm telling you. Question is, which one of us is gonna be wandering the earth with a mark on his head, and who's gonna be six feet under, you know? This phone's running out of battery, shit! Look after me, Nico. This is as far as I can go, man. Francis, I'm ready. What is the plan? I hope you got over yourself and are ready for some fratricide. Don't forget that I still got dirt on you. I know this ain't nice, but neither of us has a choice. It's sounding like I got no choice. One McCreary brother is going to get me to kill another. That's what I like to hear. I want you to take the window cleaning elevator on one of the buildings around back of the courtyard. Get in position and put Derek out of his misery. Shit, I better get ready to act surprised. Don't miss, Nico. You might hit me. I'll hit who I'm aiming at. Don't worry. Yellow! Derek, my brother! Frankie, what's this about? I've gotta say, I'm nervous about this little meeting. Shit, when I heard you was back, I nearly shat myself. Sit down. 
Why didn't you call me? You could have slept on my couch. I'm doing real well for myself, real well. I'm sorry about how life turned out for you. Police officer, come on, clear the area, clear the area! Derek, shit! He's my brother! I did what you wanted me to do. I killed your brother. You don't think I know that? Christ, it happened right in front of me. I could feel you looking at me through that scope. Well, it's done. You and me are over. At least Jerry and Packy are honest about what they do. You're a crook, hiding behind his badge and the reputation. You know what, Frankie boy? I'm going to use that. I ever feel the heat on me? I'll call you, and you're going to make shit go away. That cool? Sounds like I don't have a choice. and enjoy so the ride. So we need to go to Beaverhead Avenue. Jill Van Krasenberg and them booty cutters.